Okay, so welcome to this lab. This lab we are doing Email Tracking Pro. So, first thing we have to do is we need to go ahead and install it. And like most things, I've already pre-saved them for you. And they are in our Module 2, they are in our Email Tracking, and we are looking for Email Tracker Pro. I'm going to go ahead and install it. If you get a uh, Java runtime, go ahead and install Java. Because our attacking machine may not have it. it. Only takes a minute. If you're trying to do this from home, and you uh, don't have the appropriate files, that is okay. What you can do while this is installing is go to emailtrackerpro.com and here is the download for it. It's not very big, and we are using version 10. All right, I'm going to close everything, and yes, I want to go ahead and run it. You get may get a few uh, pop-ups about allowing access for through the firewall, and that is okay. It's an older program, so you'll get a few pop-ups about it being successfully installed, and that is okay. And once it's installed, no shortcuts on the desktop. So let's go ahead and uh, access it. It will give you some uh, features. I don't want to see the features again. And we have the ability to do a few things. First one I want to do is I want to trace an email. Trace an email that I have received. Okay, so I went ahead, I paused the video, I pulled up an email that I got from Verizon showing that my account has used the majority of the bandwidth. So, I actually want to view my message details, and what I want is I want to copy all of this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. I'm going to paste everything that I just copied from my message. Here, I'm going to trace it. And the tracing takes a few minutes, but just let it run. And it only took about 30 seconds, but it was able to show that it went from Verizon directly to me. It happens to all be within the United States. But, I mean... If we had multiple email addresses, we may be able to see more detail. Meaning, if it had to take different paths. So we can actually view our report by clicking View Report. And it was sent by this person from Verizon, that number. It was sent. I'm going to go ahead and hide the route map. I actually want to see the uh, hops it took and where it came from and maybe even see further details so we could see its addresses its network name its origin its uh, name server I mean so you can get some detailed information about who is sending you emails so that's one way of using this I'm going to get a close out of this. I want to minimize my email so that I may be able to view it here in a second. So I want to go back to my actual email tracker. I'm going to go and maximize it. I want to look at maybe the network who is. And again, we're going to be able to pull up detailed information. Domain who is the actual email header. And again, we can start getting some detailed information from this. All right, one last thing before we do, is I actually want to look at another trace email. So I already copied the message, and this one is coming from pandasecurity.com.
And this one is going to my business email. And it actually came from Spain. And again, if we look at the trace report, we can start, oh, the trace report is all of the emails that we've done. I meant to click up here. You'll notice that it's not coming or originating from the US. We can view the report and we can start getting some detailed information. Like the IP addresses, the person sending it, its time zone, its uh, location, its map, it's coming from Spain, its uh, detailed information about the domain name. So some useful information when we're dealing with looking up information from an email. Thank you.